All right, well, you have a super strong polar bear, an engineering pangolin, a sarcastic narwhal, and then an orangutan. They're all heroes working together to save the earth in this new children's book. It's called The Endangered. Author and world-renowned environmentalist Philippe Cousteau joining us this morning. Such a pleasure to have you on our show. Good morning to you. Oh, good morning. Delighted to be here. <laughs> so where did the idea behind this children's book come from, The Endangered? I love the name. <laughs> you know, the idea was really about how do we tell a fiction story that can inspire and excite kids about nature when, you know, we, we know that young people love animals um, and they also know that there's a lot of problems facing nature right now. And so this was a, a wonderful way to, I think, give them hope, give them uh, and show them that, you know, when we come together, we can solve problems. And uh, we partnered with World Wildlife Fund. So there's a lot of great information at the back of the book about the animals and a series of live webinars that we'll be offering for free to kids uh, through October, November, where we'll be bring, bringing researchers uh, from around the world who are doing conservation work with these animals. So it's a whole bunch of stuff that, um, that is really designed to tap into that passion kids have for nature and, and wildlife. And I love it. We're seeing some video here of the book and the characters. Tell us about that. They sound pretty impressive. <laughs> They are impressive, you know, and um, uh, uh, what I love about it is you know, they feature some characters, some animals that, that, that people are maybe more familiar with, like orangutans who are highly endangered, um, and polar bears, of course, that are suffering from the melting ice in the Arctic and the warming temperatures, but also maybe some animals people aren't as familiar with, like a pangolin um, that is kind of like an armadillo with lots of small little uh, hard scales. They roll up in a ball when threatened, um, but they're also highly endangered because they are hunted um, for their scales to be used as soup in China. Oh. So um, uh, even though scales are made of the same stuff that our fingernails are. So um, we wanted to feature a mix of animals people are familiar with, maybe some that people aren't as familiar with. Regardless, it's a fun story. And of course, the narwhal. Everybody loves the narwhal, <laughs> unicorn of the sea. Um, exactly. And they all come together and have great adventures. I love this. And what impacts, of course, we have to ask about your grandfather, Jacques Cousteau. How did he impact your life? And I mean, obviously, you've been leading a very envi environmentally conscious life. So tell us about that. You know, my grandfather always told me before we can talk about conservation, we have to talk about education. And that's why I started Earth Echo International 15 years ago. We're a leading youth environmental education organization around the world. Um, and we're doing books like The Endangered, which is the first in a series, by the way. That's, uh, book two will come out this time next year. Um, is again, to tap into the idea that the young people are already passionate about these issues. We just have to give them a, a little bit of knowledge and tools and, and, and hope and recognize that they can go out in their communities and make an incredible change. Uh, and that's really what we want to help is grow the generation, a new generation of young people um, who, uh, who care and, and are willing to take action. Now, I know a lot of times kids are the ones teaching parents, hey guys, why are you doing this to our planet? Uh, but let's talk about some lessons for kids right now that they can do. I mean, I'm sure they want to protect the planet for their own futures. We, uh, older generations, didn't necessarily do the best job at that. So what can kids do right now? You know, there's a lot of fun resources and tools out there. I um, always encourage kids, you know, the, that's what Earth Echo uh, is all about. So go to theendangereds.com. Uh, we have a bunch of educator resources there that kicks to World Wildlife Fund and to Earth Echo International, my organization, with those kinds of tools. Everything from, you know, guides about how can you test water quality in your, in your community um, and then what can you do to improve it. Things like energy audits at home, stuff to think around food, composting, starting a little garden, um, even if it's just an herb garden on a shelf. I lived in an apartment for many years and we did that. Um, so there are lots of little things that people can do at home, recycling, cutting the plastic use all of that kind of stuff that kids can lead the charge on, and we find kids leading the charge on around the world. And you're right, it's usually the parents coming up to me being like, wow, my kids are the ones that are pushing <laughs> you know, us to do these things. But uh, um, that's really what it's about. It's about uh, helping young people um, find hope and, and be engaged in problem solvers. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and that's what The Endangered is about, and that's what our work at Earth Echo is about, and, and it brings me hope every day. I love that. Philippe Cousteau, thank you for the work you're doing. And we can learn a lot of lessons from you, the polar bear, the orangutan, all of them. <laughs> Looking forward to the <laughs> Thanks book. Thanks for having me. <laughs>